Welcome back. Ron Burgundy is still here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you so he is the official animal ambassador for the world famous San Diego Zoo. That's a great zoo. Along. It's a great zoo. It's a great zoo. It's a great zoo. Top 100 zoos in the world. And he has brought along some friends to meet us. Please welcome zookeeper Rick Schwartz. Yeah. <laughs> Take a seat. Wow. Yes. Uh, right here, take a seat. Come, come, come. Look who have we got here. Look at well, that. This, this is Mike. He is a young alligator. We're not sure exactly how old he is, though, because unfortunately people buy them uh, on the pet trade, on the internet. He looks you delicious. Know. I'm just going to say, let's just <laughs> well, you know, address the elephant in the room. I, I don't want you to feel left out. We have one that Ron can hold. Can we bring that one out real quick? We got one for Ron. Yeah, you can just put it on this. Oh, my God. You good? Maybe not. Just put it on the desk. Just put is it on that, the desk. Yeah. That's not real, is it? San Diego Zoo, we have real animals. You know that, you've been there. So this is Spike. Oh, James, he likes you. He likes you. I, he is literally looking at me like he's going to eat me. He, well, he no, wants not. you to lick his snout. I can read <laughs> his don't. body language. Please don't, no. Ron's great on the news, but not much on reading body language of alligators. So well, it's, it's, I beg to differ. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. You okay? I just feel like he's smiling. Yeah, he like... is. <laughs> He's smiling. I'm scared. He's, he's, on camera. he's, he's, he's smile. thinking about how delicious your right hand is going to be. I agree. Yes. Because I, I, I want to listen to you. I have a feeling like you're laughing, not, though, did you? I don't want to turn my back on him because I feel like he's going to go for me. I guarantee you he won't. You can't make that sort of guarantee, Rick. <laughs> you're full of. That's just exactly the sort of thing. Well, I'm a zookeeper, so we do handle the lot. I had that. a pet alligator for three years. Yeah, how'd that work out? It just got too big, and I had to release it in the city pool. Yeah, uh, and we actually had to bring, we had to go okay. get that one. Yeah, so yeah that, that was, was you. the one. That was yeah. you. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I, I know we have some other animals. I don't yes, wanna, yes, yes. Let these ones focus. go now. Yeah. Right. He, he can just hang uh, out there. No, it's good. He can. <laughs> see you later. Oh, my. See you later, alligator. Uh, That's how. Okay. See you later, alligator. See, see you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. OK, Rick, who else have we got now? What have we got now? Well, San Diego's pretty famous for its black and white animals, so I want to oh. What is that? <laughs> no, this, this is Evelyn. She's cute, don't you think? <laughs> so, what's wrong, Ron? No, I just, just going <laughs> to. I'm just gonna Thank take you. a knee down over here. You think? Okay. Ron, Ron's, Ron's not a fan of the uh, of it's the, the skunks. It's the only animal that keeps me up at night. Really? Yeah. Well, if you wouldn't go pester them in their dens, then you'd probably be okay. I do like to poke skunks with sticks at zoos. <laughs> I, I, I will admit no, to that. No, we prefer that you don't. Skunks are actually animals that we have right here in North America, of course. But because she was hand raised and a part of our collection for a long time, she's not gonna spray you, so you're okay. Just keep it that way. <laughs> now, when they do spray, though, they're very accurate. They can shoot about 12 feet straight. Oh, no, I know. In the face, well, you know. They can shoot further than that, yeah. <laughs> One got me at 30 feet. 30 feet. I walked it off later. You walked that off later. I went yeah. back and measured. It was so, 30 feet. Since you seem to have a, a problem with skunks, just insider tip, um, yeah. a little bit of uh, baking soda, peroxide, and some dish soap, and you'll be good. What about tomato sauce? Well, it's, it's good for, like, a base for most spaghetti sauces or lasagna, but... <laughs> I, I wouldn't. It, it is. Yeah. No, the, the tomato sauce or tomato juice is unfortunately a myth that what ends up happening is it kind of covers up the smell. But what it is, it's an oil that's got a protein base. So eventually, when the tomato sauce it's goes not away, work. it's not going to work. The, Do they eat Reese's pieces? I should imagine if given the opportunity, they might, but that's not good for them. That's not, that they should stick to bug scrubs and, and things like that. That's okay. kind of their main diet. Mm. All right, well, that's the skunk. What else have you we got have, for us, Rick? Let's, uh, let's say goodbye to this, uh, okay, fair enough. this little fella. Am I wrong there? There you go. All right. Okay, what have we got now? So I talked earlier about how people... Oh. Yeah. Come on up, buddy. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, like, cat. where'd he go? Come on up, Charlie. There you go. James, will you want to join the show? James. I, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. No way. That's, that's ready to pounce. <laughs>
Well, you're familiar with cougars, right? I, I certainly am, and it's, it's exactly uh, the, their feeding time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So cougars, also known as mountain lions, pumas, catamounts, uh, mountain screamers, all those sure, names. mountain screamers. Right. You're yep. Some, yeah. <laughs> they are, this one's about uh, eight, nine months old. They'll get much larger as an adult. It's a male. And unfortunately, same thing. He, someone tried to keep him as a pet as a kitten. Uh, Who would do that? Gorgeous. Unfortunately. Why would you? Well, part of my job is kind of connecting people with wildlife but making them realize they need to be wild. Oh, they are he pets. just looks like he's ready to go at any oh. point, Rick. <laughs> Rick! <laughs> so... David and Lisa here. Have yeah, you've made seen. that look like a cuddle. Aww. You couldn't see. You couldn't see his teeth being like. Ah. So, so what, what I have to say, what I have to say is they have a very unique relationship. David and, and Lisa have spent their lives, like I have, working with animals. This is not something I would want in my home. And even though he did that little cuddle with David there, you can see it was a very controlled moment where David made sure his hands were in the right place to maintain control of the animal. And Lisa was also there working. David, on the second did you leash. wet your pants slightly? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. He does that because I know I went. I went mine just about a half cup. I went mine <laughs> quarter, quarter to half cup. You good? Well, Rick, thank you so much for bringing these animals Rick, to see Rick, us. Rick, Rick. We want to thank, thank so Rick Schwartz, Ron Burgundy, the second season oh, of the Ron Burgundy podcast premieres today on the iHeartRadio app and everywhere you listen to podcasts. We'll be right back, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.